Now, certain questions that can be asked to you in a technical round is uh, explain about this particular role that you performed in this company and also they can ask you to explain about how did you work in a certain particular situation or a certain challenging time and so on and hi everybody welcome to my channel and in this series we are covering different interview rounds that you have here in germany and in detail we are discussing about each interview round and how you should prepare for each of these rounds now this can be a little bit different than what you are used to in your home country so in case if you are looking to find a job here in germany this is a very important series and make sure you go through this video until the end because there's a lot of information that i'm going to share and also a lot of tips and tricks that you're going to get from me i am gurpreet working as a lead recruiter and my only job is to hire different candidates for different roles in different domains and from different countries so stay tuned and follow me in case if you like what i'm doing so now that you've cleared the pre screening round and that was a pre screening round for say 30 minutes with the hiring manager or the in case if you want to know and you have not watched the video of what happens in the pre screening or the first round here in germany please go ahead and watch this video then then you will go to the next round which is called as a technical round or say the second round now this technical round will definitely happen with the hiring manager or some other member from the technical team where they are hiring you from in this interview you will actually talk to the team that you are going to work with now the basic format of this interview is your resume is everything you know so people take creation of resume very lightly and they feel that the resume is only needed to you know pass the ats tool to get the first call no all your interviews are happening on your resume right so your resume is very important and that's why it is very important for you to mention only those skills that you know in your resume because this technical round or this second round will be based on what you have mentioned in your resume and they are going to ask you more questions about it now one thing i've seen here is that most of the companies you are used to that in the technical round they will give you a coding challenge or they will give you a certain statement and you need to solve that but here that's not the case that most of the times it does not happen in this second round or the technical round again this is an interview with one of the team members where they want to know more about you and what is your experience in detail they will ask you more about have you worked in this particular area and what were your roles and responsibilities and here the basic thumb rule is that they tend to believe what you say you know it's not that they will question if you're saying yes you have done this then they believe that statement and most of the times in this technical round you can be asked certain technical questions but you won't be given a coding challenge the coding challenge and all that can happen in an interview day which is usually the third round and that third round will consist of a case study and in that case study you will have a certain coding challenge or a problem statement that you need to solve or creation of a ppt so that interview day is a very unique uh, interview process that happens here in germany but in this second round it's again more to know about your experience to know what you have worked on and also to ask you some detailed questions related to your technical skills now in this hiring manager can also give you some challenging uh, questions like have you worked in an environment in a pressurized environment or have you worked in a similar domain or a similar uh, situation and also uh, they can ask you certain technical questions as well uh, related to your particular skills so uh, be prepared of that and but make sure that you never lie in an interview say in case if there's any skill that they are asking for and you do not know about it very politely say i'm sorry i don't remember this answer or i don't know about it that shows that you are more confident it does not show that you are lacking a skill however it shows that you are confident and you are open to learning always end the statement saying i don't know this 
but I can definitely learn this and get back to you or I can also find this answer and get back to you. So that shows that your positive skills that you, you are always open to learning and doing more. Now certain questions that can be asked to you in a technical round is uh, explain about this particular role that you performed in this company and also they can ask you to explain about how did you work in a certain particular situation or a certain challenging time and so on and and basically what they're trying to know is how well versed you are with your technical skills that you have mentioned in your resume is that a lie or your technical abilities are matching with what you have actually captured in your resume so it's very important you prepare yourself as per what you have mentioned in your resume but it's not going to be a very difficult round you have to show the motivation of joining the company and why are you interested in this role now again in this round you can be asked this question why do you want to join this company and as i said in my previous video it's very important to read about the company wherever you are giving an interview process so now your technical round is over this can also go between 45 minutes to one hour sometimes it can also be done by two people in a team rather than having one person in the team and uh, it can also be a video call mostly in most cases this is going to be a video call so once you clear your technical round then you go to the third round and the third round is the interview day now this interview day is very unique uh, to, to Germany it does not happen in many other countries so in case if you do not know what is an interview day please watch my part 3 of this particular session which is an interview day and if you like what I am doing please subscribe to my channel I am Gurpreet working as a lead HR here in Germany my whole day goes on hiring lots of different people for lots of different roles so I have started this particular channel to help you and guide you so that you can find your dream job sooner so now let's go to the third part which is about the interview day